Now let's try to understand what is von Neumann bottleneck. So von Neumann bottleneck is actually the speed disparity between CPU and memory. Now this speed disparity between CPU and more specifically if you say main memory is referred to as von Neumann bottleneck. So in English term, what you can write is the disparity, the speed disparity between CPU and main memory is referred to as von Neumann bottleneck. So why this disparity arises? The first question is that. Now, if you see CPU, now if this is a CPU and the here we have a main memory, now what happens is CPU processes the data and instruction at much rapid pace. Why? Because they make use of registers which is set up within the CPU itself and these registers are very fast. So these registers are very fast as a result they provide the data and instruction to CPU at the rapid pace at which CPU requires. But what happens is this main memory is slow. So this main memory is slow as a result it provides data and instruction to CPU at a slower rate and thus there is a time lag between the data and instruction provided by uh, main memory to CPU. So there is a time lag right there is a time lag and as a result the whole performance of the computer takes a hit so performance is decreased. So what happens is performance of the computer decreases. Why? Because it does not get the data and instruction from the main memory at the pace at which it's the CPU requires to process it. As a result, there arises a phenomenon which is known as von Neumann bottleneck due to the speed disparity between CPU and main memory. Now, how you can resolve this issue is the another question, right? Because the computer's performance should not take a hit and it should not decrease and to resolve this issue what can be done is you can make use of cache memory instead of this main memory or you can install a cache memory between these uh, CPU and main memory. Now what is cache memory? Cache memory is a special type of memory which has exactly the same speed as that of the register or CPU you can say and as a result what happens is this provides data and instruction to CPU at the same speed at which it requires thus eliminating this phenomenon that means the von Neumann bottleneck because now CPU gets the data and instruction at the same speed at which it requires so the performance this time does not take a hit and as a result, this von Neumann bottleneck does not arise and the performance of the system is increased. So another one of the factor is you can use cache memory and another is using the special type of computer which is known as RISC. The full form is reduced instruction set computer. RISC is reduced instruction set computer. So how this helps is it uses a lot of registers within it. That means there are a lot of registers set up within this kind of computer internally and thus they don't make enough access to memory and since the access to main memory is reduced that is why this performance does not take a hit because most of the time when it has to process the data and instruction it makes use of these registers and we have already informed that these registers are very fast and as a result this performance does not decrease and von Neumann bottleneck does not arise in these kind of systems. And now you can say that uh, if registers are so fast why don't we make use of lot of registers and enhance the performance to a much greater extent. The reason behind that is registers are very fast but they are also very costly. So if you only start making use of these registers in your system, the cost of the system will increase and everyone 
will not be able to purchase or make use of those systems which has a lot of registers installed on it because this will be really costly and it will not be a pocket friendly computer and that is why it, it is not so easy to make use of the registers in the computers which are used by normal people right so hope you have understood what is von neumann bottleneck why this uh, von neumann bottleneck arises and how to resolve this von neumann bottleneck if you really like this video tutorial please make sure that you subscribe our channel so that you will be in touch with the more videos that we produce and at the same time thanks for watching it till the end